He sucked my dick for free. He didn't come up. Who are you? We don't know you. The only thing. You're you're a Christmas trailer trash. You're a Christmas trailer trash baby mother. What is good? Diamond Dynasty, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video, man. Today, I'm a little bit tired. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I have been doing some investigations on these conspiracy theories. More specifically, Mo3. Rest in peace, live in peace to Mo3. And I had just been going crazy with the conspiracy theory, so I've been up later than normal and shit like that. I'll be up late anyway. But anyway, I needed some time off from YouTube. Sometimes I just need to take a step back and just motherfucking live my life, man, without the cameras without all of that shit. You know, it's very important. All my influencers out there, I understand. You wanna grind and shit, but sometimes it's good to take a motherfucking step back. It'll still be here. It's all good. But anyway, guys, we're gonna get into this. Without further ado, my baby mother's trying to take my son away from me. Chris sells us. When I just told you to come get your son for a day or two, you didn't come get him. I said, hey, I'm feeling bad. I said, I'm feeling sick. Me and baby Chris feeling sick. Can you come get your son? You, you never came to get him. We're out in the gym having a great time. I'm boxing. I have a box. I have a boxing match coming up. First of all, it's one of these situations to where why aren't you drawing a line between what people should see and what people shouldn't see? I know that he has mentioned, is that a hickey, my nigga? Chill. I know that he has mentioned that with this particular baby mom, which I believe is artist's mom, if he doesn't publicize certain shit, she doesn't respond, she doesn't even you know, try to do anything about the situation. So maybe this is his cry out for help, but I still feel like my nigga, bruh. Some shit should be personal. Some shit should just be behind the scenes. But anyway, let's continue. So you think I'm about to stop boxing? Because... Oh, you want the sick. A sick person is going to be <laughs> in bed, uh, 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 coughing and taking medicine. So, because, so just because I went to the gym, and, so just because I went to bo the boxing gym. At least Chris is being productive in the boxing ring, working out on his physical fitness, helping baby Chris with his physical fitness. What are you doing? Busting it open on the ground, busting it open on the OnlyFans. Get it how you live. Like I said, I'm not here to judge the girl. I don't know what in life she has went through. I don't know what she's currently going through. So I can't judge her. You don't know what anybody's going through. You don't know nobody's story, right? But I'm gonna just say this, man. I feel like Chris, eight times, I eight, I was gonna say nine times out of 10. I feel like eight times out of 10, you will catch artists with Chris. Eight times out of 10. Chris be taking care of his children. You can't say he don't. You can't say he don't. And you can't say, that his children be starving either. Have you seen his fridge? Have you seen his motherfucking pantry, my nigga? Okay, he got snacks enough for the motherfucking rapture. So, with that being said, man, it seems like Chris is definitely doing his part, and it feels like he just wants her to do her part because the shit gets tiring after a while, man. I'm pretty sure. I don't have kids of my own, but I have two dogs. That's tiring, just having dogs. How much more having real life babies, okay, that cry at night and shit, and you gotta swaddle them and you gotta feed them and you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. That shit's hard. So I can understand where he's coming from. What happened? Just because I went yeah, to the gym. Bro. You're in a good enough position to get your ass up and take care of your son. And I do take care of my what son about every your day. Son? That's you what you do. do. I do take care of my son every day. Something you don't do. You don't take care of your son. You buy, you buy him a case of diapers every month when your fucking food stamps and shit come in. You buy when you get paid. You buy him, <laughs> you buy him diapers every. You buy him diapers every month. We don't need nothing over here, my baby. So why are you? So why are you threatening to take my son away from me? My baby. Why are you threatening? Okay, okay, we get it. You buy his diapers with money. Your OnlyFans money. Your popping pussy. Oh, fans. But listen, I just said that, bro. And once again, I'm going to say it again. Chris, I know you like to have your fun. I know you like to enjoy yourself. I know you young and you getting it. I know that you're enjoying being in your prime. I get it. I understand. It makes sense. But Chris, you got to make sure you strap up so you don't end up in these type of situations, man. And also, even if you do strap up, you have to know that even strapping up is not 100%. So you really got to watch who you choose to stick the sausage. What what kind of 
bread you're putting your sausage in, okay? Because some of this bread is not the right bread that fits with your sausage at this moment in time of your life. You know what I'm saying? Now you got baby mama drama. And once again, I don't think this should particularly be shown in front of all of us, but we gonna watch. Let's keep it going. With my money okay, yo, Papa, put some money. Okay, but, but listen, my baby, listen, my baby, listen, listen. <laughs> why are you threatening my son away from me? What? Why are you suck? You say you suck dicks for free? Like shut up! Oh, like, we not doing that. Obviously. <laughs> but listen. But listen. Obviously. I never sucked a dick in my life. You suck my dick. Well, you might, you might as well. At this point, you might as well do it for some money. You out here doing it for free. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> for free. What are you talking about? You suck my dick for free. You didn't come up. Who are you? We don't know you. The only thing, bitch, you're, you're a Christmas trailer trash. You're a Christmas trailer trash baby mother. Fuck is But you see, I'm not fucking. You see, I haven't touched her dirty ass after that. After this baby, you see, I haven't ever touched her dirty ass after that. But Chris, you still touched her, bro. She's so trailer park trashy, bro. Why did you fuck with her in the first place? All right. I got to see it from both sides, too. At one point, you did fuck this trailer park trash, whatever, trailer park trash Tammy. At one point. So, what does that make you? I got to see it from both sides, Chris, okay? I got to. You DM'd her, and you saw what type of thotty she was, bro. No disrespect, respectfully. You saw what type of female she was, man. I saw what type of female she was. I was like, damn, Chris got a baby by her? Oh, man, you in for it, bro. I already knew. I already knew. I said, after the baby came, you see, I've never touched your dirty ass. <laughs> you dirty ass. Yeah. You not. dirty too then, Chris. Yeah, you're right. You know I haven't. So stop it, boo. Okay? <laughs> okay? Don't do that. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyways, my nigga, like I said, my you're not coming to get my baby. This is my why, baby. Why, 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 why? What do you mean, why? Bitch, why don't you want him? What the fuck are you talking about? Why don't you want him? Why do you want to do it? I'm not gonna deal with you for the rest of your life. Trust me, I'm not. You are, though. No, I'm not. How you gonna say some? You just with one tongue. You just say, "Hey, I'm gonna take my baby. I'm not gonna rest deal with you for the rest of my life." Now you're saying I'm gonna deal with you. Right? Make up your mind. You, you, know love, you love me. If you if you love me, just say that. You stuck, Chris. You stuck. <laughs> you love me or something? Just say that. If you need a storyline, just say that. What is a storyline? I do anything. If you need more likes and comments, babe. Just say that. If you need me to beat up your baby daddy, if you need me to go beat up your baby daddy, just say that. You keep calling me. I'm not even messing with you. You keep calling me. You call me like 10 times. You, you keep calling me back to back and sending me long messages. So why, how do I need a storyline when you're messing with me? You just call me 10 times back to 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 back. We don't have to. We're not doing anything. I was I just about to myself. say. You stay what are y'all doing? I don't ask you for anything. What do I ask you for? The only thing I asked you ever for was to watch your son for a couple days. That's the only thing I asked you for. I don't ask you for and milk. I don't ask you for diapers. Now I will gladly come get him. Oh, now you will come get him. All of, all of his stuff <laughs> as well. You're mad. Okay. You're mad because you said you would have a daughter by me. My girl got mad and cussed you out. So now you want to come take your son. What sense does that make? Why is it? Why are you trying? My baby, so I have the right. So my since my girl cussed you out, now you want to come take your son? Cause my girl cussed you out and said she's gonna beat you yeah, up when sure. she see you. That, if that's the excuse that you want to oh, use, but no, what? Okay, tell me, tell me. If that's me. what you need for lights, sake, sure. It's not lights. I have the messages. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You need I have. No, no, no. Oh wait, 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 wait. Are you recording right now? Are you recording right now? 
right now, right now is the perfect time. Right now. Bro, nobody's recording. This nigga be lying like shit. Is that what you need to say? This nigga be lying. But I have, the, I have, I have screenshots. I have all the messages between y'all too. He said, I already I have, got the screenshots, so there is no need to be Bro, I have all the messages. You have no life. She's calling. No life. You're calling me and say I'm bored with my life. You almost blew Bro, a spot up. you called me like five times, six times, more than that. You <laughs> called me back to back and you said I'm bored. You don't want to have to be bored. First you said you was coming over, and then you said oh, I'm gonna come get him tomorrow, and then you said okay, pack yourself, I'm gonna come get him right now, and then you said okay, I'm gonna get him next year, and then you said okay, I'm gonna get him next month. Like make up your mind, like, <laughs> <laughs> bro, like what's wrong with you? How you gonna get mad? Cause my girl about to beat you up, and you gonna take your son? See, you, you sh like it doesn't make sense. Your girl what? How you gonna get mad? Cause my girl about to beat you up, and then you gonna try to take my son? Your girl beat me up, but that bitch didn't have none of that energy when I was up in a crib. So because you didn't say anything. No, you don't want to live the scary. Ugly ass bitch beat the No, no, no. No, no, no. You're. You're the ugly ass bitch beat First of all, she's not. You, you, you literally. You literally. You literally were just in here saying the cute one. The cute one. You literally just said the cute one. So now you say she's ugly. Bitch, she look better than you. The fuck? Oh, my mama. Look at your body. You have a sponge. You, you're you built like SpongeBob. What the fuck are you talking about? Stop it. You're built like SpongeBob. What are you talking about? Stop it. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh now you mad. <laughs> now you mad. <laughs> oh, this is so childish, man. I'm not. Listen. You don't know. Ew. 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 <laughs> okay, but she looks better than you. I'm not going. I'm on some serious note. Like I'm not even gonna lie. She looks better than you. What? So if I post it, so if I post it, if I post it both of y'all on Insta, <laughs> if I post it both of y'all on Instagram, what you think they gonna say? Who you think they gonna say? If I post it both of y'all on Instagram, if I post it both of y'all on, on Instagram right now, who y'all think they gonna say? Shut your whoopy ass up. That bitch is garbage. That bitch will never be better than me in your motherfucking life. Nigga, what is you smoking? Asshole, nigga. You're smoking asshole. Asshole. That bitch will never have shit on me. That bitch will never have nothing on me, baby. You good, my baby? You good, man? You good? You good? You good? Shutty. Shutty. Let me turn him down, man. Shutty, right? That tattoo face needs to go, bitch. We'll never have nothing on me. You need to stop. At least you got a body. Stop something you don't got. Now, baby. Stop she said, oh, yeah, now. Oh, my God. Stop it. But stop anyway, it. all that's irrelevant. She's ugly. Everybody knows it. And <laughs> secondly. Bro, every rapper be in her shit trying to talk anyway, to her. Every celebrity that you can think of. Every celebrity that you want. Every celebrity that, that, that you want. Listen, why does this matter? What about the baby? We talking about the baby. Yeah, what about the Let's baby? Let's talk about our baby. <laughs> Who? Who? Let's focus on what's important here. What you mean, who? Any celebrity I want. If I write a motherfucker right now, they're going to be on my back. What but are you talking about? Girl, shut up, Lon. Smash and pass your ass. That's about well, you need it. to do that. Because your broke ass need to move out that damn trailer trash you in. Fuck what you talking about. Do I? Do I? Well, maybe I just need to put you on child support and get some money from you and move out. You, you only put a guy on child support if they're not taking care of their baby. I'm taking care of my child, stupid hoe. I'm going to put you on child support, and you're going to move out that trailer trash into a fucking box. <laughs> this nigga is, so you're going to take is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, I can't listen to all of this, man. Let's see. Let me let me fast forward, y'all. Not the energy I was getting, buddy. They still going. That's for sure. I want to get the energy. Look, they been arguing for so long, this nigga had to get a sip of tea. Was that it? Whatever. Are we off the phone? Everything went good. We laughing. Oh, she's she she end up leaving. She texts me. Text me. Hit me when you by yourself. I said, "What's up, by myself?" I was taking a shower. She said, "Oh." She said, "Let me know when you want to have another daughter. I mean, when you ready to have a daughter." So I showed my girl. She mm -hmm. gets mad. Text her. They text. They text her back and forth. She calls me. Started cutting up on me. I'm going to go get my son. I'm taking him. You never going to see him again. I'm going to put you on child support. Blase, 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 blase. All of that good stuff. I didn't do nothing wrong. I take care of my son every day. She don't. She buys some wipes. Mm. I guess that makes her a great mother. That's what she thinks in her head. 
She thinks she's a great mother because she buys some wipes, diapers, and can see them for an hour. She literally come in the house. This is her right here, yo. Hey, Otis. Oh, my God. You a mama's boy, ain't you? Lay him back down. <laughs> All right, I'm out, y'all. See you later. <laughs> That's her every time. My thing is... <laughs> Stop threatening me saying you're going to take my son away from me because you're miserable and you're mad. I didn't do anything to you. I didn't cuss you out. She makes me mad. Like, she's making me mad. So, anyways, I just wanted y'all to see that. You know, I'm not crazy. Like, she's mad. Like, she keeps saying, get his stuff back. Get all. She said this shit about 30 times and never came to got him. She literally come to this hoe for 20 minutes at the most, come see him and leave on my mother. And she's calling back, like she won't stop calling me. I'm gonna answer. Shade, what's up, Shadi? Yeah, you gonna have him ready for me tomorrow, Chris? Mm. <laughs> Negative, I'm not. So, you got, well, so you when, got your when, answer? When can I get artists? You got your answer, so just leave me alone. Mm. It's so funny to see Chris as the baby mama and old girl as the ain't shit ass baby daddy. You said what? You got your answer, just leave me alone. What answer? Like, when? I just said no. <laughs> okay, when can I get him? You about to take him away for good? Yeah, that's that's a fact, bro. Like, that's, I'm not, I don't want to. Okay, come get him right now, then. I, I, I don't have a lot of stuff back. I promise. Come get him right now. Like, I don't, I know you Okay, come get it right now. Just come get it right now. I know you're bluffing, so come get it right now. Mm -hmm. Come get it right now if you want to. You think I'm bluffing? Do you think I'm bluffing about taking that baby away from you? Because as much where as you, my heart, where would you want him to be raised? Right here, now, like as much as I'm like, where you want him to be raised? Right now, here, or over here. Definitely, indefinitely. When I get my son, not gonna fuck with you no more. Why are you so mad though? I don't, I don't, I just don't, I don't see why we gotta fuck with each other. I don't really see why we gotta, I don't wanna deal with you for the rest of my life. I can't. I mean, you're gonna have to. You have a whole baby by this nigga. You should have thought about that before you put your legs behind your head with this nigga, bro. That's your fault. Now you gotta deal with the consequences. And you know he's a good parent, you know he's a good father. So let him be that. I don't understand why these women be out here, man, just getting upset at their baby daddies, trying to take the kids away from their baby daddy because their baby daddy don't want they ass, man. He don't want you. He was trying to smash and dash. But unfortunately, you know what I'm saying, something more came out of that. Or maybe fortunately. I would say fortunately because a baby I don't think is ever a mistake and it happened for a reason, right? And I hope he learned something from that that situation. But if a if a dad wants to be there for their son or daughter, knowing how many children out here go without a father, why would you take that right away from him? Just because you're upset that he don't want to fuck with you like that, man. That's not right. They can't. It probably will kill me. Like I can't do it. You dealing with Marcus? And Marcus, and dealing with you, no, dealing with Ooh. you for the rest of my life. You said he beat you up. My worst, the Marcus. Your worst than any person I've ever dealt with in my life. I don't want to deal with you. You're toxic as fuck. You're lame, bro. I don't. Someone who take care of that baby every day I is lame. Take care of him. You know how many females would love to have a guy like me? You know how many females would love to have a guy like me? Look, <laughs> there's like two of them in the house right now with you. So I'm sure they'll love you to have that. You know, I know, that, I know. Okay, but get fine. off my phone. Bye bye. <laughs> love you, girl. Now I gotta do my son because he's crying. <laughs> bye bye. My baby artist is crying. <laughs> she, she just don't stop calling. She's calling me again. If she was about that life, she would have pulled up a long time ago. There's no reason to still be on the phone. What are you still on the phone for if you really want your son back? You would have been pulling up. Hey, bye bye. Hi, Dada. Hi, baby. What's the matter? 
That is a damn shame. You feel me? This is my baby. You know, he's a part of me. So at the end of the day, like, I don't like when people, when, when you mad and you threaten, I get so angry when you threaten to take my son away from me. <coughs> Excuse me. Because you're mad. Because you're going through personal issues. Because you're going through personal problems. Like, stop. That's not cool. And I'm talking to all the females out there, bro. Stop threatening your baby daddy to take their kid. That shit, that That's shit hurts. Like, that shit is not cool. Especially somebody who's actually in his life. That's a fact. Yeah, dude, like, I'm not even that. just in his life. I take care of him. He's here 24-7. He stays with me. He's four months. About to be five months now. I've been taking care of him for five months by myself with the help of my brother, sister, mom, you know. But talking about as far as her, she doesn't do anything besides buy, buy shit. And she thinks she's just the best mom in the world. She thinks she's the best mom because she carried him. Like the fuck? Hell no. Mm. If people had kids to give them up for adoption, that don't make them a mother because they had them. Being a mother is actually been there for me. You're a mom, but you're not a mother. If that makes sense. I think I'm talking too much now. But anyways, like I said. What is, this nigga always eating um, some shit. What is that, a rice cake? This is my soul. I want to trade him for anything in the world. And I love artists. Well, look, y'all already know how I feel about the situation. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the situation. Like I said, I don't feel like this should have been broadcasted all over motherfucking YouTube. But, hey, it is what it is. I'm not going to judge Chris. I'm not going to judge old girl either. At the end of the day, these situations happen every day, right? And I hope both of them learn something from the situation. And I hope they can grow, co-parent, be better, and have a healthier relationship. That's all I got, man. I love you guys so much. I will see y'all in the next one, man. Peace. And we out, peace.